Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, I I really don't know. What, I, I didn't really plan out what I was gonna say in this video, so I'm just basically just gonna wing it um, and say whatever's on my mind. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you might recognize um, that the scene is a little bit different. You actually might recognize the chair that's behind me. Uh, the, the chair that is behind me is the chair that I, I would usually be sitting on um, in, in my home in Taiwan. And that's, that's actually where I am right now. Um, <laughs> a lot of things happen. A lot of things happened in the past month, um, past few weeks, past week. Uh, it was kind of a kind of a last minute thing where I decided to just return back to Taiwan. Um, and I guess during this time, I haven't really, uh, I guess I haven't really, you know, made a lot of videos, haven't really, uh, played the game that much. Um, and th there really is no other way to put it. Like I, I, I've just been pretty much a really, really big fuck up for, for, for the past, I, I think, I, I can't even remember for, for the past how long. Uh, a lot of things happened when I was in Canada. I was basically living in this house that was like the cheapest place that I could ever, that, that I could find. Uh, it's really, really broken down. Some of you guys might know from my previous channel update videos, there were, um, there were like rats in the kitchen. There were just, it was, everything was rusted in the, in the bathroom. Um, had this roommate that would just like nonstop rave. Um, you know, I decided to try to get myself out of there, start, decided to try to um, start like an online business selling stuff. Um, the The thing that you, you guys usually see for like official sponsor, that is something um, me and uh, another partner of mine are trying to get off the ground. Um, but so far it hasn't really been been profitable. I've just been... You know, I, I I tried a lot of things. It really, really hasn't worked worked out, and I, you know, I haven't given up. Still, still want to keep going at it. Um, but the main reason why I moved back to Taiwan was it was it was like a suggestion uh, by my parents. Um, about a month ago, I like I kind of it got to the point or the place where I was living at where I couldn't take it anymore. Um, there were there was this new roommate, he recently moved in, and I think um, he was this, like he was basically a druggie. Uh, the, the place I was with, I was at like, you know, because the rent's really cheap, it's really broken down, so anyone that would be willing to live in the house basically would have some sort of problem, uh, either financially or I guess um, just, you know, be not normal people. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he was he was like uh, he was li literally right next door, and then um, he would, whenever he would get high, he would just go into this like drugged induced rage and start like um, punching the walls, throwing shit, and then yelling and screaming, going like "fuck you!" like really really loud, um, and this would basically happen constantly, like pretty much nearly every single night. Um, you know it. It, uh, I guess I just felt like really unsafe in the house and with me working at like you know trying to trying to make this like get this business off the ground and at the same time also keep up YouTube and everything um, it was it was just a really really bad environment I really couldn't I guess I, I, I couldn't give my all like it was, there was a lot of a uh, lot of a uh, just a lot of the other things I had to worry about and you know with with everything I tried not working out I kind of went into the state where I just kind of gave up I, I didn't I didn't work on anything um, just kind of ignored everything shut everything down and did like the bare minimum of what I can to just sort of keep YouTube alive uh, and oftentimes I wouldn't 
like you, you know when I would usually reply to comments like really fast I haven't really been been doing much of that and um, a lot of the comment replying have been like really really late and um, I was playing I was playing this uh, this this game at the time it's like a private server of WoW it's called Ascension and I've just been I guess it's kind of been my escape um, like I just would would uh, shut everything off like you know people that um, like just friends on discord they would like um, check up on me and then I would ignore them I'd be like I I just I I kind of don't want to face them and and I, and I think it really just goes back to the fear of like me um, just kind of really afraid of failure I, I was actually rereading um, the, the Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, which was kind of like the book that started started my my uh, decision to like kind of start a business and try to try to get myself out of there. Um, it it like kind of it, it was kind of the spark because I, I read that and then that time like when I saw saw the rat in my the, the kitchen the first time, uh, it was kind of like my decision that I. I really just wanted to get out of there um, and you know the only way I could do it is if I if I made more money or something like that um, and I don't want to keep I don't want to give any any of the things that I'm, I'm also doing up like I don't want to give up YouTube and, and everything like that um, well I actually got a fail I just unfortunately well, I wasn't supposed to continue but fuck it I was supposed to give up and restart but it's all right. Can't believe I actually failed. That was uh, that was really unlucky. And this team isn't a hundred percent. It's like it's like ninety nine percent stable. But I I guess it it just it really didn't work out. And I was um, I remember in the book is they it was talking about. Um, how the more something challenges our identity of how we see ourselves, the more we avoid it. And I, I guess a really big problem of mine has always been that I could never bring myself to like give it my all for anything. Um, I guess the the identity I always saw myself as was like the winner, you know, the, the one that like succeeds and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, to be honest, my upbringing has been, um, you know, pretty, pretty sheltered, like, um, but also at the same time, like, whenever I'm in school, I wouldn't have to, like, try very hard and still be able to excel, but, you know, when I, when I started doing this business, I was, like, looking at a lot of stuff, reading a lot of books, and, you know, like, in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, they said that only, um, or, one one out of every 20 like companies would would like kind of make it past like their 10th year or something like that so basically essentially like five percent of of the people that like go out and try this thing are the people that make it and i've always kind of saw myself as like that five percent although um you know it might it might not be the case it might not be the truth um and i guess because of that <laughs> I, uh, you know, whenever something would challenge that, you know, I, I'd be, I guess, too afraid to face it. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of always been a problem of mine. Um, because, you know, if I, if I didn't really give my all, then I could always tell myself like, oh yeah, you know, be, I, I still, I still could do this. I still could do that. Um, but the truth is I, I lost. I lost. I, I really did lose. Um, this whole entire time, like after I, this, it, it didn't really make it. After that, like Rumi moved in, and I, I was just, uh, I was just on this like really, really long tilt spree. Um, the the only thing that kind of just, the only way I was able to kind of keep my sanity was I would just always tell myself this lie. Like it was, it was just four words. Like that, I would, 
I don't know why, it's, it's, it's almost like a mantra that I would just repeat to myself. Um, but I know it's, it's not the truth, like I would tell myself I haven't lost yet. Like that's, I would just keep repeating that over and over to myself. And it's sort of in a way I would uh, just kind of brainwash myself into thinking that, you know, I, I still have more to give, I can still try and, and succeed and win. Um, but in, in reality, I haven't been, I haven't been making any progress towards that. I've just been avoiding my problems, running away from them, and it it got to the point where I guess I, I was just kind of trapped there. Um, the you know it it hasn't gone that badly. Like it's it's still um, getting sales here and there, but um, and it's not enough to not enough to really make it like a I guess a profitable business or even um, you know for me to sustain my life or even improve my quality of life um, and you know it um, and then I would always like I guess I I really wanted that thing to work out because um, I guess my only other option would have just been to randomly go work and stuff like that but I I didn't want to give that up because I put a, I put in a lot of time like and I was actually prepared to just just move out and um, you know just kind of give everything up and get just you know get a job um, I wouldn't know how how long I would be able to do YouTube if I did that um, and I kind of just that like that was just kind of on my mind and all, all in the meantime it was like kind of, kind of I, w I would just kind of push that back like one day after another and then I would just be living still still in that house like as minimalistically as I can um, and it, it kind of got to the, the point where like I had it I had to have this this thing that would tip me over the edge and force me to make a decision and it was I kind of been in that state for the past like one and one and a half months until recently um, about a week ago, another another one of my roommates. Um, it was it was this actually this Muslim girl. She lived upstairs, and um, it was man. All my roommates are freaking crazy. Like uh, they, she, she, I was it was like late at night. She like knocked knocked on my door, and uh, she said that she was like she was like in a hijab, you know, like you know one of those suits full body suits where you only see like the the eyes um but it was like this muslim girl in her 20 something either way she knocked on my door and told like handing me this apple juice was like you know i work at this uh, coffee shop and we had an extra one and i never really talked to her before i was like all right um cool thanks and i took it and then she like left and then like 15 minutes later she came again and then um handed me another apple juice was like hey uh here's here's another one um I, we actually happen to have another one you know uh like and then i was like all right, all right. and then I, I took it and then i guess just to be polite like i took it um and then she was like can i come in and i'm like uh i'm actually talking to someone you know like online on discord um and then and then she she was like oh and then she like leaned over and uh and, and grabbed me by the dick and then i was just i was just like you know kind of shocked at that point and i was like i i was like no i can't and then she uh she was like what's wrong and uh she like i, I i'm not making this up she she was like uh i'll i'll suck your dick like no sex and then i was like no no the whole entire time and yeah it it got like just this really awkward thing in front of my room until she she left and yeah that, that set me off like a lot of tilt like I've, I've been I was tilted so hard after that um, it it was like the last straw like that was the last straw I, I just I couldn't take it anymore like I couldn't take living in the house anymore um, and I guess the 
it, I, I guess it just felt like really horrible afterwards and I had like no one to talk to so I just I like I finally called my parents I was like uh, I guess just yeah just told them what happened they were like you know you should get out of there just why don't you just come home um, and that's kind of what I did it was like a very very sudden thing um, and yeah, and that's, that's kind of why I haven't made any videos in the past few days. I just packed everything I could, left everything that I didn't need, and, um, and got a one-way ticket and took the plane home. Now I'm in Taiwan. Um, but I, I think this is a good thing. The, the good thing about this is, I, I mean, now I can... <laughs> Now I can, uh, I guess, go back to, to making more videos. Um, there's there's more things to look forward to, and you know the way I the way I see it with like the the whole business thing is, um, you know, I it's it's like that phrase, um, I've lost the battle, you know, but I haven't lost the war. Um, I'm I'm still gonna keep trying, like, and. I guess I guess the whole experience was just really humbling because I, you know, I've always been like a really proud person. Um, you know, everything I ever really done has always been somewhat successful. Um, I guess you know there there was like that one time with calculus. It was it was kind of like that. I think that was it was like PTSD from that time. Um, it was like the only time where I just I tried my best. I gave it my all and was still not able to uh, succeed and I guess this this makes two yeah this makes two uh, the, uh, I guess on a more positive note um, I, I will be able to make more videos I will be able to um, you know I was able to come back and see my family again um, I no longer have to, I no longer have to live there, <laughs> that's, that's a bonus, um, yeah, it, it was, it was really weird because I didn't realize how, like, how really, really how bad it was until I got back and, um, you know, just talked to my, my, uh, my family members and found out that I actually, um, I didn't lose a lot of weight, but I, I lost a lot of muscle. Like it was because I didn't, I wasn't eating enough. Um, and it, like working out from before kind of, it just kind of all went to shit. <laughs> Basically I lost all them gains and now I have to work hard to, to get them back again. Um, and yeah, it's, but I, I think it's something I'm going to work towards. Um, I think the first first big positive step is I'm going to start like... Well, I, I have been going to the gym, but I haven't been eating properly. And that's probably the first thing I need to do, like start, start eating properly and, uh, you know, work out at the same time and um, get, get healthy again. Um, and then also to to start, um, you know, start, start doing YouTube, um, more regularly again, um, and also kind of hit up all the people I've been ignoring and escaping for the past, like, one and a half months, um, you know, even when I started playing Ascension, I, I, like, promised that I would make, like, some leveling guides and stuff, and I never got around to doing that, um, and... You know, I, I haven't been covering a lot of the content that came out in MSL recently. Um, with all the new monsters, the new event, and everything like that. I haven't even really... Well, I, because I was flying and setting up my computer, I haven't been uh, able to play or, or farm as much. Um, 
and that game I was playing before, um, Honkai Impact, like I was waiting for the NA launch, and they're actually going to launch that in April. So that's also something to look forward to. Um, so I can make content for that as well. And um, I guess I guess for now, like the the, the next week or so, just uh, spend some time with my family and then get back on my feet and uh, and keep going again. Um, I thank thank you guys so much for for all your support. Um, I <laughs> haven't been the best YouTuber. Haven't been <laughs> haven't been streaming either. Um, and you know I. But I'm I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try really hard. Um, I'm just gonna make my like website, you know, fantasy gaming and all that stuff, and just all this all this stuff I really should be doing. I've just been um, avoiding it, and it's it, it was pretty bad. Like I've been been a pretty pretty big fuck up for the past little while, um, or or past long while actually. But. Uh, I'm hoping to change that. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna get back at it again. Um, thank you guys for everything, and expect uh, some some stuff to start coming very very soon. Um, maybe give me just give me a few more days to just spend some time with my family, and uh, and then I'll I'll keep at it. Um, But yeah, anyways, uh, thanks so much, and I fin finally finished my all, using all my energy, and I'll see you guys um, in my next video. Peace out.